Hello everyone, myself Siddhan. I'm a Microsoft developer. In this lecture series, we will see uh, how do we do integration from Microsoft to Solace. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, Solace is a PubSub model. Okay. So here I have developed uh, is two simple flows uh, where we uh, make a REST call to our new application and we publish the data. Once we publish the data to the queue and um, my uh, the queue receiver will uh, receive the message from the queue and we are logging the uh, message. So in order to uh, connect to Solace, you must uh, go and create your own account, okay? Once you create an account, and here uh, in the palm.xml, you have to give uh, these uh, dependencies, make sure uh, uh, these dependencies are provided. I will uh, put this dependency um, in the chat box or a comment or in the comment section. Okay. And uh, in the shared libraries, you have you to provide uh, these uh, um, artifact IDs. These are uh, Solace, Sol, GMS, Sol Common, and uh, these things we have to provide. As well as uh, in the dependencies, we have to add. Uh, uh, the uh, Solace dependencies we have to add and save it. Okay. If you if you are having some trouble uh, for the dependencies, uh, in that case uh, you can add uh, this Nexus uh, repository here, so which contains all the dependencies. So if you yeah, if uh, or unless you are facing any de uh, dependency or well, dependency issue, okay, or you don't have. Uh, this uh, settings.xml, this rep uh, nexus repository mentioned in settings.xml, then you can add it direct directly in the palm.xml here. Okay. Once you do all this and save it, you can go to the uh, .xml file here, drag and drop uh, GMS connector, publish con connector, and go to the configuration. Okay. And connection, you give general connection. And since you have already uh, Copy pasted all the depend required dependencies. So uh, by default, uh, the jars would have downloaded. Okay, and uh, here you have to give uh, what is the conf uh, JNDA name. This is CF slash default, and here uh, you have to give the context factory. Okay, these things you can Google it, or uh, I will put down in the comment section, and uh, this JNDA provider URL. Okay, these things you go to your uh, um, go to your uh, uh, this um, web browser, Solace web browser, and go to these uh, services. This one, and go to connect, and go to the first option, Solace messaging, and here you will see the required credentials here. So I have taken uh, this uh, insecure one. Uh, this is uh, TCP of uh, uh, this is this is this is your host I have picked up, and you give the uh, JND URL here, and give this key value pairs. Okay, this uh, Java dot naming dot security principle as a Solace hyphen cloud hyphen client. So these be uh, values you basically found here: the username and the password. Okay, and the message VPN. So these three are. Uh, values you have to provide with the key name along with the key names as uh, you see in the video okay and james underscore vpn once you configure all this uh, then you are done with the um, solace configuration part okay and just cancel it sorry okay it and then here you can give uh, the uh, destination what is the destination possibly uh, the queue name you can create a queue name okay uh, drag and drop. Okay, and you can go to the uh, messaging and go to the queue section. You can just give a queue here and give the queue name. So I have simply given the queue name as Mule. I have not given much of um, any extra properties, extra configuration. It's simple. Okay, just you have to create a queue name and go back to the uh, studio. Okay. You give your queue. Then generally, how you configure uh, uh, this uh, queue properties, all that uh, you have to give the same thing like 
put it with me and uh, just your con publish is completed once you publish it and uh, you see in this another message the listener is there it's not this one this one okay okay this one the same q name okay the same configuration okay what i will do is i will uh, since this is a start, I will just stop this initial step. So to let you know that the message is successfully being published to this uh, uh, queue. Okay, I will just save it again. So I have deployed my application already. Okay, okay since I have saved and stopped that uh, uh, that flow and I'm deploying it again. Okay, so it is now successfully deployed. I'll remove all the console part. That will be triggering here. Send this hello, Sudan. This is simple text I'm sending. Send it. So I'm publishing it. Okay. It is published. It. Let's see here. So I go back to the uh, console page, and you see here one message has been uh, successfully uh, in the queue. Okay. So what I will do is. Uh, I have started back the flow. Okay. Once I started back the flow, and message has been picked up from the e uh, queue. Okay. Just I will I will just move back again. Okay. Let's go back. And you see it is printed successfully. Hello, Siddhant. So this is how you have to configure the uh, Solis. It's a simple uh, exercise to let you know uh, how do we uh, do the configuration part. Okay. Once you, it is successfully done, configuration and testing is successful, then you can play with uh, play with it based upon the requirement. Uh, thank you all. Have a nice day.